Just kidding. <laughs> hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to my like mini morning routine. So today we are going horseback riding early in the morning. We're actually just going on a trail ride. So I wanted to take you along kind of like what we do um, when we go on early morning trail rides. So I just like woke up for real because there's a lot of things that like happens before we officially wake up. Um, we take the dogs out early in the morning and then we let them back in and then Penelope goes out early in the morning. So dogs have already been out. Penelope is still currently out. And uh, now like when I say it's time for us to get up, um, Mike always goes and grabs Scout so Scout can spend some time with us in the morning. So he just went out there to go get her so she should be arriving any second. Good morning, Scout. Welcome to the morning routine, Scout. Scout loves her mornings with us. Right, Scout? This is what she does in the morning. She always loves to lay down and take an extra nap every morning with us. So it is time to get up out of bed because we are actually going on the trail ride in about like an hour or so, so we don't really have much time. But whenever I get up and I like go into the restroom, I always look out the window because I always like to look at all my animals and look at these two because they're the ones who are out during the night and they're always playing with each other in the morning. That's Cash and Trigger and Trigger just kicked up at him. But they do this all morning where they just mess with each other, so it's always fun to watch them in the morning. This is the boring part, but this is when I get myself ready. And since I'm just row riding, I'm not really like, going to put a lot of makeup on because I literally will sweat it off in like 30 minutes. So in the morning, I always just rinse my face off with cold water and then I start my skincare routine. So my skincare is really simple. I just use a glycolic serum in the morning and I put it all over my face. And then I put a, I don't know, it's like a serum to help my skin be nice and moisturized. It is super dry in Florida right now, so my skin gets so dry so quickly. And then on top of that, I do a, another moisturizer. It's all about moisturizer over here for me. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much my skincare for the morning. And now I just need to brush my teeth and then we'll start my makeup that looks like a no makeup look. I guess. So I got this little like tool that has like all of my um, like face stuff and everything because I wanted like a dispenser for um, toothpaste but it kind of is like a piece of junk and I got it off Amazon but this is what I <laughs> use because I like it as a shelf um, and I know this is unnecessary information but it's really funny to see how I have to brush my teeth in the morning. So I literally have to hold it on the wall or else it comes off because it's literally just like they gave me basically tape but I just put my toothbrush here. And you have to do this, but this is all it gives you. And this is how it gives it to you. So then I have to do it again. And then I just get more. So it looks like this. But this is what we're working with. So I just changed what I'm gonna wear today. I'm wearing like this little donkey on my shirt. I don't know, I love graphic tees. But anyways, like I said, since I'm going on a trail ride, I um, wanna just do like a no makeup makeup look. So I just use concealer and I literally just like put it everywhere. Now this is your makeup tutorial by me and uh, yeah, I can't really see what I'm doing either because I'm looking in the viewfinder so hopefully it comes out good. And um, a lot of the times I use like a beauty blender sponge but not today. I've been lately liking to use this because it's just a lot quicker and my life is really on the go and I have to do everything really like relatively quick. So just like that, as you can see, my skin tone is even once again. It doesn't look like I just woke up. So that's what I do for my skin tone. I just like to make it look even. And then lately, I've just been taking like this cream bronzer and with the same brush. So this is not like something that I would do if I was actually doing my makeup, not if you guys like care. But I've been seeing a lot lately in my comments that you guys comment on my makeup a lot. So this isn't like what I normally do. But um, I just do something like this with the cream bronzer just to make me look a little tanner. And then up here and I normally leave this part out but you know I feel like this is a lot of like part of my life as well of like getting ready and my morning routines is doing all of this I just literally don't pop out of bed and go and like start feeding the animals it's like these are like all the things that I also do I figured today we would add it okay so that's pretty much all I do for that and then I just do like one dot of blush and that's it for the blush there and I just do that and my face is like I get red anyways so it'll be red regardless so I don't need to put a lot of blush on and then just like a little bit of highlighter again I probably don't even need this for today because the um, sweat is gonna make me look highlighted anyways but 
this is how it goes. And that is pretty much it. Also, I wanna thank Semper for sponsoring today's video. Semper is a fragrance subscription service where you get to choose a new designer fragrance every month for just $16, no surprises. As you can imagine with working out in the barn and with the animals, I don't like to always smell like the barn, especially if we have to just run out to the store or oftentimes we are feeding our animals and then we go out to dinner and I don't always like to smell like the barn. So that's why Semper is really convenient for me because I don't even particularly like one scent. I like to try a bunch of new different fragrances. So with Semper, I get to choose new ones each month and if I want to skip a month they are super flexible so there's no penalties so this is what the vial looks like and all you have to do is just rotate it and just spritz and that's how the perfume actually works they give you a really good amount right here in this vial as you can see it's a good amount of perfume it's a 30-day supply so my favorite one right now is the English Laundry Oxford blue and this one has top notes of citrus vanilla caramelized sugar pineapple amber if you haven't tried this one I definitely recommend if you're anything like me and like to try new fragrances without fully committing to the full bottle I definitely suggest that you click the link in my description down below and use my code for 55% off your first month of Scentbird. that's only about seven dollars for your first month also so I just received exciting news that Semperd is now available in Canada. So I'm probably gonna put my hair back up in the clip because of riding and stuff. I know I'm gonna get hot. So we're just gonna do that. And now I'm pretty much done um, with everything that I need to do for myself. We Uber Eats um, some Bob Evans because today we don't have time to like make breakfast and I'm really hungry and I don't like to go on a joyride ride hungry um, because then I won't feel good with the sun. So we just Uber Eats, so we're waiting for that. And then, um, so now we are gonna go and start to take care of all the animals. Penelope's laid out and enjoying her sunbathing. Oh, Penel. This is the life of Penelope. It's literally, she has the easiest life. I wish I had her life. What are you two doing? You guys just got caught. You got caught. What were you doing? <laughs> Why are you guys on this couch? You guys want to go potty again? Oh my goodness. Come on, let's go potty. Scout, get off that couch. Right now, girlfriend. All right, girls. And boy. Go, 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 go. Scout, come on. Zoom. While the dogs are outside, we're gonna prep their food to get them fed when they come in. So every day, I have to go around and collect <laughs> all of their bowls. And I swear my back is gonna hurt one day because of how much I have to bend down to get these twice a day, every day of my life. So this is my ensemble of dog food bowls. So I just have to fill them up. So a little scout gets like almost Sorry, I can't concentrate and talk at the same time. <laughs> she gets about three scoops of her dog food. So this is about one and a half cups. And that's what she gets her cute little slow feeder. And I'll just continue on with filling up all the dog's food. the dog food's done it's time to get Penelope's food because we also need to bring her in and get her fed so we just got all the dogs in but Scout is not coming up because Scout loves to leave us and usually ends up at the front door let's see if she's out here Scout Scout what are you doing Scout has dug a hole and leaves the fence hi crazy sorry Scout came out to bug you Scout why do you always leave us Scout loves to leave us and go roam around the property She's weird. Are you ready to eat, Scout? Guys, you're about to see how crazy Scout gets when it comes to um, eating time because she absolutely is cuckoo over food. Scout, you ready to eat? So Scout always eats first because the other dog will eat her food. <laughs> and she loves to eat. And she always goes right here. Good girl. And she sits. She's a good girl. All right, ready? And then so we also put Daisy behind the baby gate because they also bully Daisy and will eat all of Daisy's food. All right, Daisy? All right, come on, Daisy. There you go, girl. And then these are the bullies that I'm talking about. <laughs> you guys eat everyone's food. All right, Lexi. Here you are. Lexi first, because she's a slow feeder. Bama and Miley. So everyone's eating now. Now it's time to feed Penelope. 
time to eat, Penel. Come on. Penelope eats in her slow feeder. Keeps her nice and busy and gives her, it's like an enrichment tool for her. Mike is gonna go let the horses in and get started on feeding them, right Mike? <laughs> and we're taking my car today because we're just going down the road. So I'm gonna back us up to the trailer. Come on car. What the heck? There we go. So this is pretty much the only way that I truly know how to back up to a trailer. <laughs> I can do it um, decently if I'm in Mike's vehicle, but it takes me a lot longer. But with this handy anything, like I can do it in a second. So sometimes it makes me sick looking at it though. I know that's so weird, but I'm gonna show you how cool this is and how easy it is for me to back up to the trailer. So we're getting closer. As you can see, there's the barn and I'm on my way to the trailer. So if you see my little grid lines, it just shows how close I am to the fence. But once I get really close to the trailer, so this is real time, okay? I click this trailer button and it shows me exactly, like I was already pretty right there to be honest, but it shows me exactly where it is. Oh, I gotta actually go lift the trailer up. Just one second. And now I'm just gonna put the trailer hitch on. Well, let's go check on Mike really quick and see how he's doing. Okay, so time for the trailer to get hooked up. So I'm gonna wheel it up so my wheel's off. We're learning lots of lessons in this video today, guys. <laughs> Take the wheel off and we never um, play ball with the wheel on. Now that that's all the way up, we have to close this. So just kick that. Perfect. And then we attach our hooks. Like so. Perfect, and then we just need to attach the lights. Now that it's all hooked up, I just need to move it forward so we can actually get the horses in. So everyone's eating, and while they're eating, we're just gonna go feed the pigs. So we feed the cows grain at night. So they're not getting grain right now. So these piggies are eating. Guys, if you didn't see on my Instagram, where Pancake bit my finger, I was giving them Smarties and he bit my finger, he latched onto it. But anyways, let's go let the chickens out. Good morning, chickens! Oh my gosh! That was crazy! I just got literally dusted by my chickens. Come on, girls. I don't know if I spooked them or something, but that was quite crazy. <laughs> this is the first time you guys get to see them actually coming out of the new little hole that we made for them. So cute. So we're actually taking three horses today, so Trigger and Louie are gonna stay in the stall trigger. He's gonna be staying in the stall anyways, but we're not gonna put Louie out by himself because he'll get really like anxious. So we'll let him out when we bring the horses back and he'll do his normal routine. So we are taking June, Cash, and Blaze today um, because we're actually trail riding with some friends that we met through social media, which is really cool that live in my area. Um, and they only have one horse, so we're letting them ride Blaze and then I'll ride Cash and Mike will ride June. Trigger, he's not gonna come today. Unfortunately, I'm gonna miss him so much. Um, but I'm probably just gonna ride bareback anyways because I rode yesterday and I'm supposed to go to a barrel race tomorrow. So I'm probably just gonna take it easy and ride bareback. So that's the setup for today. Last thing we have to do before we load up is let the goats out. Right, you little goaties? You ready to be with your dinky? Better hurry, dinky's on the way. Oh no. Don't dinky's eat. ready for you guys. Let's go, goats. Release the goats. Go see your girl. Willie. Yeah. There she comes. She's ready to go play with her goats. Bye guys. All the horses are loaded up and ready to go. I'm not sure if we've ever brought all three of them together somewhere before. This might be their first time all going out on a trail ride together. So that's kind of funny. Obviously these two have been out together. I don't know, I can't remember if these two have been out together. I know Cash and the mayor have been out together, but I don't know if actually if Blaze and the mayor have been out together. What are you doing, June? What are you doing, June? Just 
getting a snack. Go get a drink, buddy. Just drink it, do not put me in the water. Go ahead, get a drink. Don't go any further. back home from the trail ride we got to get our ponies out did you have fun mike yep <laughs> nice hey hi buddy where'd you come from what's up we're gonna get them all hay because they did so good and we went to just fill their bellies up once again look at this ham hawk i know right so strong awesome good boy that's one Thank you. We gotta wait for everybody else. Come here, Cash. We need to clean our horse trailers today. It is such a mess in there, just because I've been hauling a decent amount. Get out of her way. Good job. He's going to the barn on his own. <laughs> All right, cool. Come on, Blaze, let's go. You, I called you Blaze, I'm sorry, Cash. Come on, we'll get you some hay. He's just walking himself outside. Bye, Blaze. All the horses are out, eating their hay. Well, not all the horses, but the horses that are supposed to be out. We just are filling up water troughs. I just let all the dogs out. They're very happy to spend the rest of the day with us. Scout, you're crazy. Let's go outside. Come on. Basically, my entire days is just taking dogs in and out all day. All right, so that's pretty much it for my morning routine going on a trail ride. I had a lot of fun. It was good to trail ride. And now we have the rest of the day to do what we need to do around the farm. So if you guys liked today's video, if you liked coming along for my morning, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, every chance my post notification shout out today, shout out goes to all you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.